Hi, welcome to a Siemens NX video tutorial. This one is a remake. The next one in this series and it's the joint fork. Quite easy to do in Siemens NX as well. Nothing special here. So, let's have fun with Siemens NX. Okay, at first I want to create some reference points. So go for curve and point. One should be at 0, 110 and 0. So go for apply. Next one should be at 0, 0, minus 50. And OK. Then go for a sketch on the Y set or right plane. In order to use those reference points, you have to include them. They changed a lot of things in the solver and I think it's worse than before. The workflow is worse than before. And OK. Now I need circles, one here. At the sketch origin, yes, and this should be 40. And I need another one over here. And one over there as well. Now I have dimensions, press D, select here, go for 30, select this one and go for 30 as well. Now I need some lines and I don't want to snap onto anything so I will press the Alt key while using the profile tool. Okay, now let's go for tangent constraints. So this should be tangent. Apply. 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 This one here. Apply that one apply and also to this one apply and this one should be also tangent to that one apply cancel this out it's not fully constrained it's okay but i want to trim and then it should be fully constrained But it isn't, or it is. There's a conflicting persistent relation. That's interesting. That's this one and that one. Because it's not a diameter anymore. So let's delete that one. Delete this one. And go for a new dimension. Like this. And like that. Come on. Why does it not work? Yeah, that's it. And now it's fully defined. So that's kind of awkward if you have to replace the diameter with a radius. So the workflow is more like this. You have to make your profile and then afterwards make the dimensions. I really don't like it. Okay, finish that sketch. So let's go for another sketch on the top plane or the XZ plane and confirm. In order to use that reference point, you have to include it and confirm. Now I will have to use circles and rectangles. So I'll start with the circles first. One and another one concentric. So this has to be aligned with that point. Confirm and I will need a dimension and that dimension from that reference point here to this point should be 
15. Close that one. Now I want to use rectangles. I so will need one here and two more here. Okay. Again, add dimensions. So this should be 64 and this one should be 80. Now it should be kind of symmetric. So I want to use uh, the midpoint here from this line, that one, and align it with that point here. Apply. And Uh, I will lose the constraint anyway, so let's use this one and that one here, and OK. Now add some dimensions. Yeah, didn't snap. So this one and that one, that distance should be 10. And again, this should, should be symmetric. So go for this point and that point. Okay. And then a dimension from the point to that line here, and that should be 20. Now, let's take a look. Go for tangency. So this one should be tangent to that line. And this one should be tangent to that line here. Tangent this one here to that line. And OK. Move this up, maybe like this. And the distance, okay, another dimension between this one and that point here should be 15 plus 27, that's 42. Close that. So obviously that tangency didn't happen like that. Okay. And I should be able to trim and we will see what we will lose with that trim. So what should be removed? This here, and that one here. This one line as well. Then inside here, this should be removed. Yep, this should be removed. That small corner here as well. So this one that one and there's still a dimension missing that one here so i could remove this this here and that here that's too much so this should be removed and that should be removed and those two and those two now i need a dimension from this line here to that reference point here and that distance should be 15. so i've lost obviously some constraints let's check it out what do we have maybe tangency maybe concentricity so let's try tangency see if that one or i've lost oh i think i lost the dimension yeah because it was a diameter and i need a radius of course I want 
to have a dimension here and it also is a little bit slow so what next did I lose yeah I lost of course this dimension here and it it's really worse than before oh there's what's this I think this can be ah if I remove that yeah it's okay now the sketch is done and finish that sketch let's go for extrudes so extrude with this profile make it symmetric make it maybe 100 apply then use the second sketch this one here make it symmetric maybe 150 and now go for a boolean operation not inferred but intersect and okay hide those two sketches and maybe also those points okay now for another sketch on the right plane okay I want to have a circle at this point and the diameter should be 40 okay make another extrude finish the sketch first then go for another extrude make it symmetric make it 20 and it should be united and confirm now I can go for the fillets so go for the edge blend here first one should be 15 on this edge and that one apply next should be 10 on this edge here and that one here apply then go for 5 millimeter on that edge here apply and also 5 millimeter on this one and that one and okay hide that sketch here and now add the holes so go for the hole tool so if I do those first because that's okay we have a hole diameter it's a counterboard one hole diameter should be 18 the seaboard diameter should be 25 and the seaboard f should be 2.5 and it should go up until next that's okay so let's go for that surface and that edge here which will give me the center okay apply same on the other side move here to the surface don't don't select it and then to the edge click arc center apply and then I will need two simple ones and diameter should be 18 it should go until next that's okay and that would be here this edge as reference so it should be possible to select the arc center nope <laughs> sometimes it's a little bit harder to get okay move it like that move here move from the inside yeah that's more like it apply and move here from the inside to the edge and okay and I'm done so I hope it was helpful hope you liked it if you did like it please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel 
and you could follow me also on GrabCat, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.